Hello, Gamer Nome is back. And in this video, we're going to grind 600 masteries on the Cursed Dual Katana. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. With the actor slam. Oh, they're yes. dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a question. Are you done with the quests? If not, good luck with that, guys, because it's kind of hard, to be honest. So here we go, guys. The newest mythical sword, the Cursed Dual Katana. And I'm gonna show you how to grind it in three ways, okay? The three best ways to grind masteries with a sword, okay? So first off, I call this the Long Ma Hop. So from the word or the name itself, Long Ma, you're gonna kill Long Ma and do server hop. So here you go, guys. For Long Ma stats, HP, ATK, with a damage of 2,000 per hit. So Gamer Nom, is he easy to defeat? Yes, guys, he's very easy to defeat. But wait, there's a problem with my damage. <laughs> wait a minute! Oh, I think there's a problem with the stats. So let's head to the sea castle first. Let's reset our stats. Okay, I knew it. <laughs> okay, so let's reset our stats. There you go. And let's put some on the sword. Then let's do the long mass strat. Okay, so guys, if you're having a hard time, just do the wall strat, yes? My favorite one, check this out. <laughs> Gamer Gnome, even in the final C, you can do this, yes? Guys, as you can see, I don't need Buddha, I don't need any other skills. Just do the wall strat, see that? Yes, he can damage you, yes, yes, I'm aware of that. But check it out, guys. No normal damage, only his skills can hit you. But you can hit him with your M1s. So there you go. With just one Longma, guys. We got, I think, uh, 143. Yes, masteries. But if you don't want to do wall strat, guys, check this out. Just do the dash strat. So just keep on using your dash. Left click, dash, left click. Guys, this is fast forwarded, okay? There you go. Dash, left click, dash, left click. And that is enough to defeat Longma. So guys, compared to the other bosses, this one gives out the most masteries, but very easy to defeat. And with just two long masks, you will unlock the Revolving Ravager. This skill is long range, but if you want to maximize the damage, use it while the enemy is near, okay? Wait, Gamer Nom, I am having a hard time defeating Loma. Is there an easier way? Yes, guys. Aside from the wall strat, use Buddha, okay? If you have the Buddha fruit, everyone knows that. Things will be a lot easier because of the increased range. There you go. And also the increased defense. I'm not sure with the defense. Correct me if I'm wrong. There you go. It's very easy to defeat. So guys, can you guess how many long mass would it take? Okay, how many long mass would it take for us to unlock the second skill? The Slayer of Goliath, Mastery 375. Can you guess? And same with the previous video. The first one who can comment it on the comment section will be pinned. Okay, so guys, it's free to guess, so make sure to comment it on the comment section. Also, can you tell me what quest is the hardest one to finish? For me, the mist, right? The one with the purple marks on the mobs. You need to defeat everyone in the third C. That's really hard, right? Back to the question, guys. If you guess 25, you are correct. Also, for those who are wondering, yes, I did it in the public server because you cannot do server hop in the private server. So it's kind of hard in a way because sometimes when I go to the uh, area where Longma is, he is dead. Just like this one. Or someone is already killing it. Doing also the Longma hop. Check this out, max level. Maybe he's uh, grinding masters on his Buster Sword. Is that a Buster Sword? Also, there are some supporters who were able to notice me while grinding. So shout out to them. This one, the Doe King. So he asked me to take a picture with him. That's it. Shout out to you, bro. And thank you for the support. Okay, guys. So moving on. For our second fastest way to grind masteries is do mob grind. So usually you will go or head to the final island and use your Buddha plus your sword. And that's it, okay? Fastest way is lure all of them and defeat them, okay? 
So after defeating them, you don't need to wait for them to spawn. What you should do is move to the other set of mobs. There you go. Even though they're a weaker, they almost give out the same experience. So don't need to worry. There you go. So after that, move to the other set of mobs again. Next mob. There you go. Okay. After that, off to the final set of mobs. Okay. So after this game, or no, what will you do? Go back to the first set of mobs that you defeated. Okay. What if I don't have Buddha gamer no? Then you can use what we call the elemental strat. So for me, I think I have the light fruit. There are other elemental fruits such as the flame fruit, the sand fruit, the smoke fruit, or the ice fruit. That's even, uh, what do you call this? The dark fruit, okay? And after that, you can head to the Sea of Treats again and look for the ice cream chefs. This mob is the strongest mob that has no hockey at level 2125. So that's it. You just need to kill them. They cannot damage you again. Wait. Oh, we're lagging. Let's reconnect. There you go. So just use your left clicks, M1. And after that, move to the next mob. Same mob, guys. Again, you cannot go higher because after this mob, everyone has Haki. But if you're not in a hurry, you can always do AFK grind, right? AFK grind. And the best mob to do AFK grind even if you don't have Buddha or Logia, is you can head on the final island. Yes, even though every mob there has Haki, I found a way to so again what gamer now. My favorite strat, guys. Wall strat. Look for the Candy Rebel and this wall right here. <laughs> Just go here. There you go. Check that out, guys. There's a wall. <laughs> All you need to do is use your left clicks. And that's it. You don't need to lure them. Yes, you don't need to lure them. Check it out. There you go. The moment that they spawn, if you're near the wall, they will go towards you. So just use your left clicks. And that's it. Guys, bonus. If you want to do AFK grind, do it in the haunted castle. Why gamer no? The mobs here are weak. It's fine, guys. You only need to defeat their born skeletons because they give out bones. Maybe there's an Halloween event and you can use bones. But guys, can you please help me with this one? I tried defeating the reborn skeletons. There you go. I think I defeated like uh, 20 plus reborn skeletons and I am not getting bones. I don't know why. Okay guys, just a reminder, <laughs> we're almost reaching 600 mastery. There you go. Boom. Okay, so we've reached Max Mastery on the CDK. By the way, I also tried on the other mobs here, the Demonic Souls, inside the castle, but to no avail. I was not able to get any bones. I don't know the reason. I also tried it at night. Guys, I have 5,000 bones. Maybe this is the maximum. So far, I don't know, guys. If this is part of the update, please help me, guys, with that. And I hope that you learned something from this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.